know how much I trust this. Oh. What's up, everybody? My name is King Z, and welcome back to the Afterlife SMP server, season four, episode two. Now, I have been doing a little bit of work. Not much, not much work, to be honest. Uh, I've been feeding some cows. I've been doing a little bit of farming and a little bit of mining. I got a lot more diamonds than I had previously. At least I think I do. I'm not totally sure. Uh, I got rid of the sugarcane farm because I think I got enough sugarcane for now. We'll eventually have like a redstone farm for it. I really haven't expanded on this because I don't need to. I also found these little guys down here, and I'm gonna be keeping them. I'm gonna be keeping them. I'm not sure for what just yet. But uh, I was pretty sure these guys would run out of arrows at some point. But I had them shoot, like, I swear, like a thousand arrows. And they still have not stopped shooting arrows at me. And it really hurts. My armor isn't that great. Also, I've been working on the starter house. And yeah, I've, t I've decided to say that this is actually the starter house. Because I'm pretty much, I can't leave anything looking ugly. Um, I might actually turn this into a house and just keep it here. Being that it's the first thing we build on this island. We'll turn it into some sort of cool steampunky kind of thing. Which I don't think I've actually mentioned, but I'm going to be doing a steampunk castle on this island. Uh, going to be a lot of planning and a lot of experimentation. Uh, I've never built steampunk really. I tried it once on another server, uh, but all I really built was a clock tower. I do have an enchanting table over here. I've been working on the interior of our little starter house here, so I got some storage. I'm going to be trying to keep the storage as minimal as possible. I still have a bunch of empty chests over here. You can see my farming stuff. Some of it's organized. Some of it is not, and some of it is looking really good. See there, we got a stack and a bit of diamonds, uh, which we're actually going to be naming this guy right here. If I can uh, make myself a diamond block. Puff Fish HQ was on earlier and he told me that he has an Enderman farm. It's been a little while since I've been on the server and he has an Enderman farm and he's selling passes to it for one diamond block for the rest of my life. So I'm assuming that means for season five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, Puff, if you didn't mention that, and now it has to be that. But I'm going to be naming this Z's Puff Puff Pass and we're going to go ahead, craft this, and head on over to the Enderman farm, take some diamonds with us, enchant some things because I know I need to enchant some things. We're also going to mend this guy. I'm place silk touch on that bad boy as well i really wish i had an ender chest so i don't have to worry about this but we'll be getting some ender pearls over there as well so we got a pickaxe a sword an axe a shovel and why not a diamond hoe actually no not a diamond hoe because we're not gonna be farming that much i don't think but we'll get all the essentials i should probably <laughs> I should probably get diamond gear right now, but I also don't want to. Uh, I died. I had like 27 levels. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks, but at least I don't have to worry about dying anymore. There's my one death. Hopefully we can keep it to one death for a while, but not making any promises. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head over to spawn town and see if we can't find the nether portal and we'll head over to the end. It's going to be my first time going to the nether and also the end. And hopefully these guys don't shoot me as I drive away. Uh, thank you. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, here we are pulling up on spawn town. See what we've missed so far. Oh, wow. There is a rocket at spawn. I did forget to mention that we actually have a sit mod on the server. Not too sure how I feel about it yet. I've been hearing everybody's been dying to it, but seeing as how we've already died, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, so they went to the, the end. They fought the dragon and looks like there's some shops up. Before we head over to the ender ender, let's go ahead and check out some of these shops. We have a nice little shop here. What is this? Just rockets. Only one diamond per three stacks. And it looks like I am lagging. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then we have another one. DSMC. Deep Sea Mining Company, Warehouse One. Rockets, three stacks for one diamond. One book for three diamonds. Ender chest, one chest for two diamonds. Okay. Ancient debris for one diamond. Oh, that might actually be a really good deal. And then stacks of iron. Yeah, there's not much over here. Except for these sickos over here with the llamas. You know, I don't think I trust these guys that are uh, doing acts of cruelty to llamas. That's not that's not cool in my book. Welcome to weapons of less construction. One diamond per stack. Actually, we 100% need to come back here for this because I need... Wait, one diamond per stack? No, we're not coming back here. I already, I think I have bamboo. We can make our own for that price. Oh, wait, no, you need string. I'll definitely be coming back. Yeah, look at this. These sick, sick people. I don't know who did this. Sick as in cool, right? The llamas are having so much fun. No, not, not that. This was me, by the way. These beautiful creatures being used as rides. Not cool at all. All right, well, there's not much over here. What's this? Portal broke. Okay, I think this is just another shop, which uh, we we probably should set up a portal. What's this? Uh, we've got some stuff here. Hopefully this is safe in here. Oh, let's eat. Let's eat before we go in there. I'm almost uh, starving to death. Oh, nice. Very nice. Let's just spawn. Uh, north, nothing. East, stronghold, end. Uh, south puff space wow this is a uh, an amazing nether hub uh, let's head over here and see if we can find puffs ender ender and uh maybe get some cool enchants not gonna lie i feel like this could have just been a diagonal path but uh whatever i guess we could have went in a straight line versus an l shape 
So here we are. This is the end. End portal. Wow, that didn't feel safe at all. So we need to go deeper and we have I spy. I don't know why all this is here, but we're not going to question anything. Let's just jump in. Try not to stare at anybody. Here's Puff's thing. I don't know how much I trust this. Not very safe, but we'll take it. I really don't want to die. I heard this is also broken before, so not a good sign. Important, you must buy a pass, a one diamond block. Oh, I think this was Tinkfro. Tinkfro died going AFK, and I think maybe we just saved all his stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and toss out all these ender pearls here, because I really don't need all these. Um, I th nope, there's still some more stuff here for me. Uh, this thing works super fast. Uh, let's go ahead and toss the rest of these out of here. Try not to throw anything away. Pay here. Please rename a diamond block to your IG. Okay, well, I did not do that. <laughs> Sorry, Puff. Uh, there we go. You got a Puff Puff Pass from me. Looks like we got a quick exit here for Elytra users. Uh, we do have Elytra, but it's not ours. Um, I'm pretty sure that... Tink Fro most likely had. Oh, this, does this just murder them? Do I not have to punch these guys? Or is this just left over from Tink? I have no clue. We gained a lot of levels really fast though. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and store Tink Fro stuff here in the, the ender chest for a second. Oh, those are his rockets. So I'm pretty sure he's lost some boots and a helmet, but I don't know where those went. Hopefully he can get those back pretty quick. I'm sure he can. He's at this point probably one of the richest members on the server. Uh, and an ender chest I'm going to store in there as well, just for the time being, because I want to do some enchanting. Let's see if we can get a good enchant. So that was a horrible enchant. I'm going to go ahead and enchant my... Oh, that's actually a good enchant for a sword. For right now, I don't have any sticks to it. I do have sticks, so there we go. I thought ahead. I was thinking I didn't think ahead, but I done did thought ahead. So let's Let's go ahead and make another pickaxe and make an axe and let's also make ourselves a sword before I forget a shovel we need one of them too all right so I don't know should I enchant okay that gives us fortune so let's try this we're gonna go ahead and try this see if it is worth it I doubt it will be but let's hope it is so I'm breaking one I'm breaking three two I'm breaking three sharpness three looting two that's not too bad we can combine that with a few books and actually be pretty happy with that one uh efficiency four uh, I think I'm gonna take it just because it's kind of good I'm breaking three fortune three that is awesome but also terrible that would have been great for a first pick if I could have just put mending on it um what about this one I'm breaking three let's risk it let's why not no fortune no fortune I'm breaking Breaking three, amazing. Silk touch. Do I want silk touch for that? I don't think I do. That's silk touch. I really want silk touch for a pick. Let's go ahead and get rid of the enchant on that guy. Okay, let's put this in. One, two, three, silk touch. That's uh, not too bad. I wonder if I could combine these. Would it take off? Okay, that's not actually bad. I think I might do that one. It's kind of like not very cost effective at all, but efficiency five, silk touch, unbreaking three. That's the perfect work pick. And then we still have our fortune mending, which is really all we need. It'd be really nice if it was efficiency, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see what the shovel is now. Shovel is unbreaking three, which is a great, fantastic right there. Uh, but apparently I need more levels. So let's uh, let's slap some of these bad boys. This would be really nice to have. We have enough to make ourselves the unbreaking three shovel, which I feel like we're gonna need a lot more than the ax. So hopefully this is a good enchant. And it's silk touch. <laughs> One thing I didn't really want on it, but that's fine. Um, fortune three, I definitely don't want that on an ax. So let's go ahead and just do efficiency one, this bad boy. And unbreaking three, perfect. Unbreaking three, uh, fortune two, amazing. These are some great enchants. So what I think I'll do here is actually farm a bunch of levels and maybe re-enchant some things like the, the shovel. I'm gonna keep going until I get a better enchant. Same with the axes. Um, I think that pick is actually amazing. I just got to put mending on it. Uh, the shovel is pretty decent. All I got to do is get a little looting on it, and then I need to get a fire aspect, um, and I'll be perfect. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep on enchanting, and I'll meet you guys back at the base. Ooh, look at that. That's actually perfect. We're going to go ahead and keep that one. Uh, let's go ahead and do this on camera anyways. Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. Let's do it one more time. See you guys back at the base. We got all our stuff. I collected a crap ton of ender pearls because I don't know what I'm going to need them for, but you never know. I'm going to go ahead and keep them in a very safe spot right over here. And I got a bunch in the ender chest with all of Tink's stuff. So Tink, if you're watching this and you haven't already got your your stuff back. I have it. It's nice and safe in my ender 
Ender Chest, so don't worry. King Z has your back. And I did get Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4 literally right after I stopped recording that, so uh, there you go. Now we got a bunch of good... Oh, and I didn't freaking... I didn't mend my Fortune 3. What a dummy. All right, so <laughs> we'll have to head back over to the Ender Ender with that, but at least we got a really good work pick for the price of only three diamonds extra on top of what we paid. So we probably want to head back there, get a full set of diamond enchanted armor, and then also get a few more work picks because I know I'm going to need them. Maybe a few more work shovels and a few more work axes and all the good stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of mining off camera though. So I probably won't show me getting any of the extra tools that I need because I'll be down in the mines. The next thing you guys are going to see is me sprucing up the place here a little bit and making our starter house look a little bit more steampunky. So hopefully you guys enjoy this time lapse. All right, guys, I just finished the house and we'll go check it out in a second. But first, we got to head to spawn. That's something I need to pick up. All right. So for saving Tink Fro's stuff, he said that we could come over here to his shop and grab any item that we choose. And I'm going to be grabbing a mending book. He said he just recently restocked him, which is really nice. This is actually becoming a very cool little shop area. Ender chest. Where's the books? Books are here. Okay. So we got mending. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. Hopefully Tink Fro sees this video and knows that I took a mending book from him for no charge. <laughs> And now it's off to the end to repair our tools. All right, so let's stick mending on this thing first. Perfect, now it's the absolute perfect work pick for us. Uh, we're gonna mend our, our picks real quick and then we'll head back over to our base and I'll kind of show off the house. All right, so this is the starter house. And I know what you're thinking, probably not the most steampunky thing you've ever seen in your life. I do wanna change the glass out to some white stained glass just to give it a little bit of a frosty look to it. But yeah, probably not too steampunky, but like I said, it's going to be my interpretation of steampunk and a castle. We're going to be mixing a few different styles together, a few different design elements. And the block palette is going to be a little bit more upbeat and vibrant versus like a darker steampunk style. I do plan to add like some big old giant cog wheels with a lot of gold, a lot of wood, and I still plan to use a lot of copper. I went and bought some honeycomb from GP and he was kind enough to uh, give us that so we could use it on our copper blocks. So now they will no longer change colors because I really like the color of these blocks here. It really actually matches the jungle wood and the white terracotta. Like I said, I want to add some cog wheels. I want to make things look a little bit more steampunky. But for the time being, we just needed a house to live in that was a little bit better than just a hole in the wall, which we do still have the hole in the wall. If we come in here, we still have the entire storage area down here, which is kind of cool. We still have the enchanting table, which will enchant to level 30. And then if we head up to the first floor, this is basically the bedroom. I got a nice little bed here, a few flower pots. We also have the wardrobe here, which back here, technically secret, but we're going to be doing some things back here. I'm not totally sure what just yet, but I do want to have some secret passages and compartments throughout this whole island to make things a little bit interconnected. And if we head up here, we have another small section of living space, which 
which I haven't used. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this stone or not. I also need to plan out a, a pathway for the area. And then I also wanna get a greenhouse. I'm not sure if I wanna put the greenhouse up here or if I just wanna put a little bit of a farm up here for the time being. But so far, I think it looks pretty good. I really like the block palette and I also like the, the stone elements. These are basically gonna be all the stone variants that we're gonna be using in the castle as well. Uh, in the castle is gonna be a lot more of a gradient versus just kind of random. And I think I might wanna use a lot more of the tuft in the actual castle area, which is gonna be over here going to be like centered in this area but if we head over here puffing fish was actually kind enough to set us up a portal for only two stacks of gold so now we don't have to boat all the way to spawn doesn't take me nearly as long i just have to traverse this entire area and i was actually thinking of moving this portal later but for the time being we're going to set it over here but yeah for now the portal is going to be there eventually i'll move it into an airship because i want to overlook the entire island when you spawn in and i'll probably be placing it out here over the water because over there is actually a landmass. it's a plains biome and i really don't want a view of the plains biome from my area but maybe maybe we actually do use the plains biome for some farms and stuff like that as well it's actually relatively close to our area so we could potentially use it for some farms later on in the series i know there's a few people that are taking up some of the areas over here for farms and stuff like that so we might want to put our claim on it just in case but that's something we can worry about next episode but with that being said i think it's time to wrap up this episode remember if you're brand new or haven't already subscribed please consider doing so it really does help my channel grow and i really do appreciate it also if you could leave a like and leave a comment let me know what you think of the episode let me know what you think of the series and i'll see you all next time here on afterlife season four mm -hmm.